calling on my friend Ponting, may I just say a few words. The object of Captain Scott's expedition was not only to discover the South Pole, but to increase our knowledge of that vast continent at the other end of the Earth. The Scott Expedition takes its name from Captain Robert Falcon Scott, one of the most eminent and iconic explorers of the Edwardian Golden Age of exploration. Scott led two expeditions to Antarctica, the second of which was the ill-fated Terra Nova expedition. Scott and his team left England in June 1910 uh, aboard a three-masted wooden sailing ship called the Terra Nova. The expedition had a number of significant scientific and, and geographical objectives, but these groundbreaking studies would ultimately be eclipsed by the team's attempt to be the first to reach the South Pole. After months of preparation that included laying food and storage depots, Scott led a team of five men to reach the Pole on foot. They arrived at 90 degrees south on the 17th of January 1912, only to find they'd been beaten to it by the Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen and his team who were travelling using dog sleds. Amundsen had arrived at the Pole four weeks earlier. Scott's party turned for home, struggling through some of the most extreme weather conditions ever recorded in the region. Their progress was painfully slow, and each day took its toll on the team members. Frostbite, illness and injuries were magnified by strong winds, low temperatures and by the harsh terrain of Antarctica. By the 20th of March, Scott, Wilson and Bowers, the only three survivors, were just 11 miles from their largest depot of food and fuel, but a fierce blizzard prevented any advance. Their supplies soon ran out completely and they perished, exhausted and probably hypothermic, in their tent. Scott's last diary entry was made on the 29th of March, 1912, and ended with the words, Outside the door of our tent, it remains a scene of whirling drift. I do not think we can hope for any better things now. We shall stick it out to the end, but we are getting weaker, of course, and the end cannot be far. on our way to South Pole. Wow. We've just flown on the Basla aircraft for just over five hours from Ridgeway base. The place is cold. <laughs> <laughs> Minus 25 degrees centigrade. Minus 25. I wonder what I'm doing here, but these guys, they stay here for at least two months of the year just to manage this fuel depot for this particular aircraft that brings people here during summer. No darkness whatsoever. I mean, there's a sun, you can, you can see the sun, but there's no effect. The cold here, the, 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 the snow, everything is just so different. No human beings, no trees, no animals, nothing. Prince Naroko, what do you think of our accommodation here in our VIP luxury camp? <laughs> Look, I'm just going to try to sleep. Okay. This is crazy. <laughs> you know, where, where we are is, is in the middle of nowhere. Literally in the middle of nowhere. You're doing a great job for Nigeria here. This, this will certainly get malaria eradication noticed. Yeah. Sometimes you have to do things to get noticed. Well, if it's a sacrifice, yeah. Yeah. 
And you should be, if all things go right, weather's go okay, yeah. you should be the first Nigerian yeah. to the South Pole tomorrow. This is terribly cold here, but I'm coping. Yep, this, this is not... This is not what you come across naturally in Nigeria, so yes. you're adapting very well. People might, might be wondering what is underneath. What is underneath? What oh, is yeah. on the floor? We're on the Arctic, uh, Antarctic plateau at the moment, yes. with there's over 6,000 feet of ice below us before we hit a continent. Years of ice accumulation below us. Mm -hmm. I'll just go outside and show some of the ice. This is the camp we're at. Prince Nooko is in this tent. And everybody else each has a tent. And out there is practically nothing. That is the Antarctic's waste on the Antarctic Plateau. We're about 8,000 feet, of which is about 6,000 feet of ice, 2,000 feet of continent below us. So it's pretty cold. I've got my hands uh, out gloves on so I can do this video so I'm getting a bit cold right now and that's our DC3 Basler that got us here we're staying here at night because we were supposed to go straight to the pole but the weather's looking bad at the pole it's bad visibility heavy wind so we're going to stay here eight hours and see if it gets better if it gets better we attempt the pole if not we decide what to do at that point amazing time at the South Pole. I'm very, very jealous. The weather's looking good. Enjoy every minute of it. We are here eventually and uh, it's a Nigeria's flag here at this point. This is the South Pole, the famous South Pole. By the way, there are numerous countries. Nigeria is the 13th country to hoist the flag here. So I'm very proud. South Pole. So the ice here dates like from 65 million years ago when there were still dinosaurs roaming the earth. Beautiful, endless sea of snow and ice everywhere. White desert has done fantastically well, putting all this together. 
It's a fantastic operation. I'm, I'm very safe as well. I feel very safe, very good. It's something that I will do again. Do you think many people in Nigeria would enjoy Antarctica? Of course they will. There, there are many people who are very adventurous. <laughs>